Hi everyone, I'm Chris, also known as That French Bloke, and this is my SARS video. So, I don't know if you know Harry Tornado, actually I've got this t-shirt here. Uh, my friend Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, published a video recently, I think it was one or two days ago, uh, calling for people to do SARS video. And what are SARS videos? Well, they are uh, video where we reseller present uh, some item that uh, we think would do a nice Christmas gift. The idea being that between resellers and also other people will rather buy from uh, a business in the community rather than going through uh, like big chains and things like that, which I think is a very good idea. Now for the sales video, he put uh, Josh put some rules on, and one of the rules is no editing. Uh, and I understand why. He said, well, people uh, sometimes don't want to put videos because they don't have time or skills to edit and things like that. And I know that I've got some backlog of videos that are stuck because I don't have time to edit. Uh, but for someone like me, it's quite hard for two reasons uh, and two contradictory reasons is once I know that I can sometimes suffer from verbal diarrhea and on the other end, words don't necessarily come easy to me. I sometimes have big blanks as well, so I'd like to cut those blanks in editing in order to make the video a tiny bit more entertaining or at least less boring. Uh, so I do my best. I will do my best on this video, try not to get adrift and also try not to have blank like I just had one there. Um, so the idea I'm going to present some of uh, the items that I have for sale at the moment as uh, I think will make a great Christmas present. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start with some expensive stuff like which I would say proper presents if you have a uh, a dear one that is into photography consider those items although I know some of them are, are expensive, but I will walk my way uh, down and I will finish with what I would consider as ideal uh, stocking feeders, okay? Uh, things that are cheap, but are still uh, interesting. So here we are, so I've got all my stock on the floor. My first one and the most expensive uh, item will be this, uh, it's a flask. It is actually a, a camera. It is a Polaroid camera and uh, as you can see it's gold plated. Uh, so that makes it uh, a very rare camera. This is a SX70 uh, long camera which is uh, the best camera that Polaroid ever done. It was for pros and it was expensive at the time. And to celebrate the success of this camera they made a few of them gold plated. This one is one of them and it's number, I don't know if you can see it here, wait focus, number 186. I don't know if you can see that, but hey. Um, so that's a, a good camera. I don't have the box. It, it is in good condition, although there is a, a few scratches, like there's one here. On, on the laser. Um, that's, I'm going, to, I'm listing this camera at 700 uh, euros, or my price are in euros. Um, it would be more expensive if I had the box than if it was in a, a better condition, but that's the price it goes for in that condition. And actually, I'm, I am not the one for mint camera myself. I like things that are a bit lived in. The reason why is that I'm not scared of using them. So that is actually a dual purpose camera for someone who uh, is a collector. That is a very collectible item. But also uh, because it's got already some imperfection, it's also something that you can use from time to time on the field without um, being scared of totally destroying its, its value. Basically, if it was in perfect mint condition, it would be twice as much. And if you take it out and make a little scratch, then you lost, you would have lost like 700 euros. Uh, this will not happen with this camera. 
very good camera it's a nice picture you can still find the film for it uh, so that is my first one I told you expensive ones um, then next a lens okay and yes it's a uh, it's not brand new it's a uh, Nikkor 28mm f4 which said like that is not uh, very impressive but this lens has a trick it's a, a shift lens basically you see there is a little knob here and I'll do it closer that means that you can move the lens up and down and you can select a different angle if you want well why does it do that? Well, I don't know if you've tried before, but if you try to take a picture of a tall building, say a church or a skyscraper or things like that, and if you don't have the space to uh, go far enough, you move your, you tilt your camera upwards and all the perspective for the building goes like that. This camera, this lens, allows you to basically aim up without tilting the camera which means that your perspective are preserved uh, this makes it a rarity those lens are both rare and expensive um, and this one i'm selling it for 300 uh, euros i've got two of them this is a 28 millimeters i've got a 35 millimeter as well so a very good quality uh, lens entirely manual um, something to think about because most people don't have those type of, of lens so here 300, camera, 300 euros let's go down and we go back to uh, a collector item and uh, that is a real oddity it's this thing so if you if i wasn't holding it like that if it was like if I take a picture of it on my white background, it looks like a normal Rolleiflex. Uh, but it's actually a Minox. I've got the box here and the documentation. It's made by Minox, which is known for doing tiny cameras. And what it is, it's back from the year, around the year 2000, and it's a copy of a reflex but it's a digital camera. So you open it like that and you still have the waist uh, the finder, let me put it on. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but here there is a little screen. Unfortunately, I would have liked it to be a real uh, twin lens reflex where you could aim through that lens, but uh, that is not the case. Um, but it's a very, very cool camera. It's uh, the fact that it's got a waist level Finder, I find it it's ideal to take, like if you want to take discrete pictures or near the floor. However, um, I warn you, don't expect great quality uh, from this camera, unfortunately. Uh, they try to have uh, pictures that have a look and feel of a film camera and they, they did that quite well. However, the, the, the overall quality is poor, but um, What's cool about it, it's like the original reflex, it gives you square picture and uh, the screen here is square as well. I believe it's uh, the only digital camera with a square sensor on the square screen and I think that is one of the reasons why it was so expensive, brand new, is because it was expensive to, to produce. One thing I like as well, look at that, if I want to take a picture here, it doesn't work, I have to crank up the uh, lens and here it works and then I have to crank it again uh, like on a real Rolleiflex uh, so that's 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 really cool um, if you look on eBay they are going for about 400 euros however I want to move it uh, I'm going to say to put it to list it at 250 still expensive uh, but it's at that price, you have uh, a very good deal for something that will stay uh, collectible for the many years to come. Okay. Next. Well, if you like the idea of the S670, but you don't have the money to pay for a gold 
plated one. Here is another one. That's an SLR 600. So it's it's basically the same. There's hardly any difference between the SX70 and that one. And this one has this module at the top, which does for the flash, but it's also for autofocus. So this one has autofocus. Cool camera, it's sold after as well for Polaroid. Uh, I'll list it for 110. I've got two of those. Okay, so, so that's that's quite cool, I find. Next, okay, I'll carry on going down in price. Uh, 69 euros, and this time, uh, brand new in the box, and it's a camera. It's a Samba blower, blow punk. I don't, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, my German is not great. Blau punk, low punk, something like that. Yeah, it's basically a Bluetooth Samba for TV or your phone or whatever. It works on the main or on uh, battery, uh, being. Uh, Blau it have great sounds. Brand new, sealed in the box. Well, I'm not opening the box because I want to keep it brand new for the buyer. I've got two of those. Uh, 69 euros, it's a great deal. Uh, go for it. <laughs> and uh, now we'll go for the stocking fillers. Okay? And what I have. Oh, wait. What I have here for stocking fillers, I've got boxes full of them. Okay, so that's my how I keep my stock. Uh, first one, it, it's all what I have to offer here now. It's all uh, new in the box, new old stock. Okay, so I've got some metallic lens hoods, very good, uh, very well built. 50, they all are 58 millimeters, which is good because it's a very common size for filter thread on cameras nowadays. Uh, and this will be perfect for something from 35 millimeters upwards. Uh, so that is one cool item. Um, I've got spectacular sets. Basically, they are a set of uh, colored filters. Uh, they were used on film to on color film to basically have uh, an effect with color. You take everything that's blue in the first takes and everything that's red and everything that's green, and then you you mix it all together and whatever has moved will appear in different colors. That's the idea behind those lenses. Um, what else? Mirage lens 5R. That's quite interesting as well uh, what's the size of it 52 millimeters which is a very um, common size for classic lenses and what it is here it is and what it does can I do it yeah okay you see what it does it's a lens that will do five picture five image so for taking pictures, that sort of thing, it's easy to reproduce in post-production. But for videos, I think you can do some cool things without having to uh, spend too much time editing, trying to put all your things together. So that is very cool. New world stock as well. I've got quite a few of those. And What else? Oh yeah, I've got basically the same, just the same, but with only three pictures instead of five. Uh, it's a different make, and this one is for 62 millimeters. And another one I have as well, which is interesting. It's this one, which is for vignetting. Basically what it does it's it's a lens as you can see here it's a lens where you can see through the middle and uh, not through the edges, the edges are white okay so 
let me see what it does let me show you what it does okay well here on because it's not made for zap lens the effect is not great okay what it should do what it does on a uh, if you do it properly is it makes you inside of a halo if you see uh, old camera like from the beginning of the last century the, they, they did that often, you had the, like a picture that was all white and you had the, the portrait in the middle and you did not have any firm edge, it was just, the picture was just melting away uh, somehow. That's the lens to do it. Once again, it's an effect that's very easy to do uh, in Photoshop, but if you want to have the same effect in videos, it's good to have a lens that does it. And uh, what else do I have? Oh yeah, this is still the same thing. Um, this is a converter to convert your lens to a longer focus. I don't know how much I'm going to sell this one for yet. I haven't studied the price. I think it may be 20 euros. All the other ones, all the other little uh, stocking fillers I've shown you so far, it's 10 euros and all my price are plus shipping and I'm shipping for friends so if you're living far away uh, please take that into consideration so that's it I hope I haven't uh, rumbled too much I, I try not to make any um, big pause like I just did again every time I mention the pause I do one uh, but that's it I hope my, you like my video uh, don't hesitate to buy from me, <laughs> obviously, but don't hesitate to buy from other people as well. I mean, you can go from, go and have a look at Ariston Edo's video. If you don't know his video, uh, check them and uh, subscribe to the channel. It's very, very good. And um, that's it for me. Okay. I hope to see you soon with some more edited video. I hope this one is good. See you soon. Bye.